Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vapid Flash GT. Um, at the time of recording this video, it hasn't officially been released into GTA Online. As uh, some people may know or may not know, I am now on PC so I can mod these vehicles in and uh, customize them myself. So if we just have a quick look at the outside of this vehicle, it looks pretty cool, man. Obviously, it is based on a uh, Focus RS or Fiesta RS, one of the two. Or maybe a mix of the both and uh, the front end just looks angry as fuck I actually really like the front end of this the rear not so much I'm not a massive fan of that rear bumper but nevertheless we're gonna get into LS customs and see what sort of customizations we can do so you go my bros as you pull into LS customs you'll see the vapid flash GT is in the sports category so to start this build as always we're gonna go into the armor and purchase 100% body armor then we're gonna go to the brakes we're gonna purchase the race brakes for the engine we're gonna get a level 4 engine upgrade the exhaust uh, we can have oh shit man fuck that looks a bit weird though even though it is massive and it looks quite impressive but then we've got the side exits there look quite nice and more side exits um even though they look quite nice they're still a little bit puny so i'm not a massive fan of them that is a badass fucking exhaust it's a shame it's central though because because it's central it looks kind of funky and i'm not a massive fan of it they look better with central exhausts um, but I still think the stock ones are probably the best, maybe. Man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, just to make it different, though, we're going to go with the twin exit exhausts. Then we've got the front bumper options. Uh, a few options, not, you know, a, a shit ton of options, which is a little bit disappointing. And these two are exactly, all these three are exactly the same, just a different colour. So we've got the primary version, the secondary, and the carbon version. And the same with these. So, customization wise so far is pretty... Uh, slack to be honest it's not great and um, I think that split was unneeded I think it looks better with stock so I'm gonna leave it like that then we're gonna go to the hood uh, so we've got a carbon hood we've got the classic sports hood which looks quite nice uh, the classic classic carbon hood uh, the race hood and then the racing carbon hood so the running theme we're getting with most vehicles with customization is that we're getting the same option but two or three times just obviously in a different color you either get a primary version of it the secondary version of it or the carbon version of it and um, yeah <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that I think it's a little bit lazy to be honest um, but they're okay options nevertheless I think this is probably the best one so we're going to go with a classic sport hood then we've got the lights we're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights next we're going to go to the liveries we get quite a few options for the liveries so we've got the classic stripes and then the racing uh, oh yeah, okay, so that's the same sort of uh, racing livery, but with the racing stripes on the, across the top. So, I believe we get like a Ken Block inspired livery, which we do. There we go, there it is. That looks fucking awesome, so I think we're going to go with that one. Uh, I say Ken Block inspired because it is exactly the same, well not exactly the same, but it's a very similar um, livery to what we have with the Drift Tamper, i.e. The, you know, the different types of logos and stuff. And it's called Rum Racing, where I think the one on the drift hamper is called Ragga Rum, something like that anyway. But uh, anyway, we're going to purchase the Rum Racing, even though these ones look awesome. I love that one, man. That looks cool as fuck. And that, and that one again looks awesome as well. But all these liveries look pretty cool. Um, but, you know, you've got to go with a Ken Block one, man. So yeah, we're going to go with that. So next we're going to go to the respray. We're going to go primary color, go to classic because we do have obviously the livery applied and I don't want that weird metallic shine over the top of the livery so we're just going to stay like this and I think we're going to go with we're going to go with a frost white man that looks pretty sweet for the secondary colour we are going to go into classic also and what does this change oh sweet so it's going to change the spoiler and the wing mirrors there so what we are going to do we're going to just purchase black for that and then we do get an option for the trim color. Um, I'm pretty sure this is we're just going to keep this black because it is the pads around the roll cage, and uh, I think it looks better in black. So yeah, we're going to stay black for that. Then we've got the roof, so we can have a roof scoop that looks quite cool. And then the secondary roof scoop, the carbon roof scoop. Fuck me. And then a weird overlipping roof scoop. I'm not a massive fan of that. It looks a bit weird. Not if, yeah, it looks strange as fuck. So uh, we're just gonna go with this first roof scoop. Then we do get the option of a sun strip. So we've got one, two, and three. Uh, I think they look alright. I think maybe uh, the Vapid Racing one is probably the way to go. But then there is quite a lot of Vapid logos already on this livery. 
So maybe we'll go with the globe oil one. Yeah. Yeah, why the fuck not? We're going to go with the globe oil sun strip. Next, we've got the side skirts. And not a massive change. It's just literally a little extra underneath the existing skirt that we've already got. And because I haven't got any anything extra on the front hood, um, front hood, fuck me, the front bumper, I don't think we should change the skirt. So I'm going to leave that stock. Then we're going to go to the spoiler. Um, the spoiler we've got in a minute is pretty cool, man. I'm actually really digging it. But then we go with this one. It's exactly the same, but obviously the livery version of it. And then we've got the carbon version of it. <laughs> then we go on to a different one. A slightly different design. It's a little bit narrower. It's not as wide as the top ones, which I actually prefer. I prefer this one. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go with the livery one, though. I think this one probably looks the best. The secondary painted wing. And uh, these ones are just fucking stupidly ridiculous. And we're going to stay away from them. So... We are going to go and purchase the secondary painted street wing. For the suspension, we're going to get the race suspension transmission. We're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, guys, we are going to go into wheel type and into high end. If you didn't know already, I do have a replacement mod on the existing skins. Skins? Files? Whatever the fuck you want to call them. So all these wheels in high end and also the wheels in sport have the same names, but they look a little bit different so I do have Lambo wheels in my high end catalog now which is fucking sweet and uh, they're all real life rims which is awesome because the let's face it the, the GTA rims were pretty fucking weak uh, I think these Oz ones actually look really really cool man so we're going to go with them bad boys I think maybe for the wheel colour uh, alloy alloy looks good maybe yellow what about yellow to match the crown on the lion? That might go quite nicely. I don't know, race yellow actually looks quite good. Yeah, man, I actually really, really dig on the race yellow. Let's try white real quick as well. So unfortunately, white actually looks more like a grey. I think it's just because of the type of wheel that it is. It is me meant to be black. Um, so it does look a bit odd with the colours. It looks a little bit darker than it really should do. Uh, but the race yellow actually looked really cool on this, so I think actually the yellow bird. No, it looks fucking like more like a, a do yellow that one. The race yellow actually looks pretty cool, man. So I'm gonna go with that for the for the alloys. Whilst we're here, we're gonna go into tires and purchase the bulletproof tires. And to finish off the build, as always, we're gonna go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go, my bros. There is my build on the brand new Vapid Flash GT. Not released in GTA as of yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it will be. Um, in the coming days actually because I'm recording this video Monday the 16th of April so um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the next vehicles to be released by Rockstar alongside the Weenie Issy Classic um, but overall man this car looks pretty sweet you got a pretty cool livery it's nice to have a different type of vehicle in the game because um, obviously it is based on like a Focus or Fiesta an RS version of that so it's nice to have a little hatchback in the game uh, which we don't tend to get. I think the last one we got was the Bestia GTS, which isn't even really that much of a hatchback. It's, it's you know, it's not much of a, should we say, a hatchback sport car, like an everyday sort of car. Which obviously the fo the Focus is an everyday sort of car. Not always the RS version of it, but Focuses in general are usually um, used by everyday kind of people. So it's nice to have this type of vehicle in GTA. It does sound really nice. It actually accelerates quite quickly too it being in the sport category it's gonna i'm not sure how it's gonna perform because i haven't seen any official video from either bruffy or anyone else on on youtube or on the internet um so that's yet to be seen but just for my general opinion it feels really quick it the acceleration on it actually feels really good it feels nice handling wise it kind of you can move it about quite nicely like that with without any sort of sliding involved where it held that corner quite nicely it could have quite easily spun out so yeah overall i think this actually feels really really good i think it's going to be 1.7 million don't quote me on that because obviously it's not in the um legendary motorsports as of yet because like i said this has been modded in um so it is going to be about 1.7 million dollars i believe to purchase once it is released online and um i don't know if it's going to be worth it it is very unique like i said we haven't really had Whoa! We haven't really had um, any type of vehicle like this in the game before, so it's you know it's quite nice to see. Uh, 
but for the uniqueness, we'll just have to wait and see for for the performance wise of it. I think you know. I mean, that's gonna that's gonna make or break this car, in my opinion. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy my first build and review on a Rockstar DLC vehicle on PC. <laughs> it's nice to be able to bring these videos earlier than possible um, to you guys. I mean, now I've got my PC up and running, I can get these videos out to you as soon as man so the next one is going to be on the weenie izzy classic because i believe that's coming out the same day as this flash gt so um stay tuned for that that's going to be my next video up and then i've got a few mod showcases to come as well um which are going to be real life cars in gta so that's going to be pretty sweet too yeah so like i said stick around for that if you'd like to see it um smash a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new and until next time i'm out adios